Hi guys, my name is JC and welcome to my booktube channel, JC JC Reads. So basically, I've been wanting to start this channel since the beginning of the year when I discovered booktube on YouTube. Well, first of all, if you don't know what booktube is, it's basically a YouTube channel mainly focusing on book related stuff like book tags and book hauls and book reviews, yeah. So since it's my first video, I decided to do the book to new beta, which is basically a series of questions, which so that you guys will get to know more of why I started this channel and just stuff like that. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? Well, obviously I started this channel because da, I love reading. Books bring out this fanker in me, but unfortunately, I do not have many friends that do read, and those that do aren't don't always get overly excited about bookish stuff and bookish reveals, releases like I do. So by joining BookTube, I get to share my thoughts and ideas on books and stuff, uh, bookish stuff obviously, with other people who love reading as much as I do. The second question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Well, honestly, I'm not really going to try to be different or unique from other BookTubers. My main purpose is to share my love for books and there are no two people in this world that have the same character or have the exact same opinion on books. So if you decide that you like my videos and you're interested in my opinion, then, that, then that's great! Though, I would really love to of course, bring new things and, to, and introduce them to BookTube. The third question is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Well, my answer to that question will definitely be being able to meet new people and having bookish discussions with them. The fourth question is, why do you love reading? Well, a lot of people ask me this question ever since I started reading. Well, books to me are like portals which you can just jump into and go into a travel to a whole different world, a different era, a diff <laughs> I love watching movies as well, but they can never have the same effect on me like books do. One moment you can be a kick-ass female warrior, and the next you can be a student having the best summer holiday ever. You go through different countries, eras, be it the past, present, or the future. But also, you get to feel relief that you're not going through the challenges and the horrors that the main characters have to face because seriously, some of them are like, whew. Reading has become a really huge part of my life and honestly, the past 8 years wouldn't have been the same if I had not picked up a book and started reading. The fifth question is, what book or book series got you into reading? I actually started reading when I was 8, so here goes. Fairy Dust by Gwyneth Rees. This book was honestly the first book that brought me into reading and honestly, I've never stopped since then. This is basically the best kids series ever, the whole fairy series. I loved every one of them. Even until this very day, I still do have once in a while pick this out and just breeze through it just, just for fun. I mean, it's a really light read and... It still, it still makes me happy. But what got me into reading YA would probably be the Ink Heart series by Cornelia Funke. Funke? I could never pronounce her name right. But yeah, Cornelia's series Ink Heart, specifically Ink Spell because yes, I started with the second book. And also another one would be the Thirst series by Christopher Pike. It was basically when Twilight was ruling and vampires Vampire books were the in thing, and I refused to to jump onto the Twilight bandwagon, so I picked up Terse instead. Honestly, no regrets because Sita is a kick-ass vampire. Plus, Terse has a lot of historical and religious facts, which makes it even more interesting. The sixth question would be, what question would you like to ask your favorite booktuber? Would you guys be friends with me, please? <laughs> The seventh question is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel would be the hardest to overcome? Well, to me, the hardest challenge would probably be being able to post videos regularly. With so little time, I have to read books, film videos, edit them, and then read more books. And that's not even counting all the other things in life that I have to do. 
I will give it my all though. Time management is something that I definitely have to improve so this would definitely be a good challenge and a practice so that I would manage my time more properly. Well that's it for my first video. I hope you liked it and if you're interested to watch more, stay tuned for the next videos. Bye!